student welcome to vasavi education hub so this session we will discuss what is polarogram and the types of currents in polarography okay student ee roju manamu polarogram ante enti polarogram ela flat chestamu alage so types of currents in polarography we will discuss right so what is polarogram in polarography we can plot a graph that is current here you can see so here we are applying micro ampere potential versus potential applied so means ikkada voltage apply so the graph obtained is known as polarogram so edaithe current ku mariyu applied voltage ku madhyana manamu graph geesthunnamo deenne manamu polarogram antam so we can called as polarogram polarogram so and or we can called as current voltage curve so deenni manam current voltage curve kuda anochu and it is s shape so meer chusinatlayite idu ela undandi idi ila s shape lo undi so s shaped wave the polarogram is divided into so different types of portions right here you can see so this is a polarogram right here the types of current in this polarogram are current voltage curve right here we have residual current and diffusion current so residual current so we can denote as ir so diffusion current we can denote as id and so this is a limiting current is i and one more current is there that is migration current so already we know very well so migration current is due to the migration of ions from the analyte solution towards the uh, dropping mercury electrode so the potential is uh, generated we can called as migration current right already we have discussed in the polar dropping mercury electrode lecture right here so the types of current different types of current in polarography so that is residual current so we can denote as ir right so then diffusion current that is id and limiting current il and the migration current i yeah, right here you can see so from a to b we can called as residual current from b to c so we can called as diffusion current from c to d we can called as limiting current right so the migration current means nothing but the migration of metal ions toward the dropping mercury electrode right so we will discuss what is residual current right so please remember student a to b point is a to b is residual current so b to c that is diffusion current and c to d that is limiting current okay right next here you can see student so what is residual current right so generally the residual current so we can denote as so in different kind of book they will denote as different different so generally in that our polarogram so we have so residual current is r so that means residual means r so that's why here i denote as i r right so what is residual current right the current which is associated with the impurities is known as residual current it is a very simple definition what is residual current student the current which is associated with the impurities is known as residual current right so that is ir right so ab portion of the graph corresponds to residual current that is we can represented as ir clear right next so diffusion current right so what is diffusion current student so here in that uh, so drop in this polarogram graph here you can see this is a and b so here the point b here you can see the point b what will happen student when the reduction potential of the metal ions are equal to the applied potential then the metal ions the metal ions is try to get deposit over the dropping mercury electrode so here when the metal ion is deposited this uh, dropping mercury electrode so there the change in the concentration so therefore here the current is also varies so this current is called as diffusion current right at the point b the potential applied is equal to the reduction potential of metal ions then the metal ions get reduced over dropping mercury electrode and current is produced so current anedi produce avutundi so this current is we can called as diffusion current right so ikkada chudandi metal ions so it take electron and it is deposited as metal so this metal 
is get reduced over the mercury as amalgam as amalgam okay right so the diffusion current id is measured is proportional to the concentration of that particular metal ions that is particular metal ions a large amount of metal ions are reduced so the current will increase rapidly at the point c so children ikkada so met large number of metal ions reduce ayina pude em avutundi so current anedi kuda vary avutundi so when it reaches to c point c at the point c means what it indicates all the metal ions are reduced at the dropping mercury electrode so that is about diffusion current right so how to get the diffusion current value so that is limiting current minus residual current then you will get the value of diffusion current id okay so what is limiting current student at the point c all the metal ions all the metal ions not metallic all the metal ions are reduced as no more metal ions or no more metal ions so no further increase of current and now the current remains constant this constant current is known as the limiting current right anni metal ions reduce ayipay so manam limiting current nu manamu c2d dwara represent chestam all metal ions are reduced so there is no more metal ions further reduce so therefore metal ions reduce avutune current change avutundi so metal ions reduce avvatledu so there is no change in the current so this current is called as limiting current clear student right next we will move to the what is migration current right already we know very well student so it is due to the migration of cation cations means nothing but the metal ions right so metal ions from the analyte solution towards the cathode here cathode is nothing but dropping mercury electrode so due to the diffusive force means nothing but here we can called as electrostatic force we can called as electrostatic force so irrespective of concentration gradient ante ikkada enti so manam current apply chestunam so across cathode and anode so ila manamu cathode anode potential variation ayinappude em avutundi the metal ions are migrate towards the uh, dropping mercury electrode then it change in the current that current is called as a migration current so we can represented as im so these are the different types of currents in dropping mercury electrode or uh, different types of currents in polarogram graph okay clear student i hope so this is useful so please subscribe and comment in the section so please like forward to your friend